to add a new recipe, select a recipe that is similar to the one that you want to add because it will actually uh, make a copy of it and then you edit it. So here's a 25 pound here. Um, so if we just press that, we just scroll through. Now I wanna make a 50 pound recipe. So we'll um, go to the 25 pound and we'll select that. And then we press and hold the add button. Okay, so now it's copied the existing recipe and now we just edit it. So let's say we want to go 50 and we just press the buttons. Now, if you, if you wait too long, it automatically jumps over to the next character. So use the arrow up to go left and arrow down to move right. So we'll just go back to the beginning and we want 50. So we'll just press the five button until it comes up five and then it'll automatically jump over. And so then we'll go zero. And then in this case, that's all we have to do. So arrow up and down to move left and right, and then just press the button a number of times to scroll through uh, till you get the correct character. When you have the name the way you want it, press OK. And then it, it will use the same values um, as the cop at the program that we copied. Um, we'll, oh, let's, oh, let's press flight. We always want to make sure that the flight value is always set at zero. Yes, it is. Okay. And the timer values will be the same. And then we can go ahead and press the, uh, the target button and enter the required set point. So in this case, it'd be approximately 49 pounds for the target. Uh, let's say nine pounds for the slow fill. Fast fill gate will be at one, which is open all the way. Uh, slow fill only switch, if we have it, will be off. And there we're ready to run. So when we start running, we just adjust the target to fine tune our weight. Okay, so adjust the target to fine tune the weight and then adjust the slow fill to um, achieve a, at least two full seconds during the slow fill cycle.